Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Dollmaker's Curse In the quaint, isolated town of Willowbrook, nestled deep within the misty woods, a chilling legend had lurked in the shadows for generations. The townsfolk whispered of a sinister pact their ancestors had made with a malevolent being, and they believed it to be the source of their seemingly cursed existence. This dark secret had been buried for centuries until an enigmatic toymaker arrived, setting in motion a series of events that would unearth the town's darkest fears. The toymaker, known as Eldridge Blackfern, was an enigmatic figure who had arrived in Willowbrook seemingly out of nowhere. His shop, tucked away in a secluded corner of the town, drew the curiosity of its residents. What set him apart from other toy makers was his uncanny ability to craft dolls that bore an eerie resemblance to the town's children. Each doll's features were so lifelike that parents couldn't help but shudder at the sight of their children's miniature doppelgangers. At first, the townsfolk were fascinated by Blackfern's craftsmanship, considering his dolls a unique tribute to the beauty of their children. Eldridge would often take long, solitary walks through the dense woods surrounding Willowbrook, where he gathered inspiration for his creations. He claimed that the forest itself whispered secrets to him, secrets that fueled his extraordinary talents. As weeks turned into months, however, an ominous unease began to spread throughout Willowbrook. Parents noticed that the dolls they had purchased from Blackfoot shop seemed to take on a life of their own. They would find the dolls in places they hadn't left them, as if the lifelike figures were watching their every move. Whispers of the dolls moving on their own filled the town, but the townsfolk dismissed them as mere superstitions. Then, children began to vanish, one by one. Each disappearance was shrouded in mystery, with no witnesses or clues to follow. The only link connecting the missing children was that they all owned one of Black Fun's dolls. Panic swept through the town, and the once tranquil streets turned into a chorus of sobbing parents and anxious neighbors. The townsfolk had no choice but to confront the sinister past that had haunted their ancestors. They discovered a hidden diary in the town's archives, which chronicled the ghastly pact their ancestors had made with a malevolent spirit. In exchange for prosperity and protection, the townsfolk had agreed to give one child from each generation to the malevolent entity, a child who would serve as a vessel for its dark desires. It was this horrifying deal that had haunted Willowbrook for centuries. As the terrified townspeople confronted the toymaker, Eldridge Blackfern revealed himself to be the vessel through which the malevolent being sought to claim the children. He confessed to his role in fulfilling the curse and expressed remorse for his own dark past. With the newfound knowledge of their ancestors' misdeeds, the townsfolk were determined to break the curse and save their children. Together, they embarked on a treacherous journey to confront the malevolent entity deep within the heart of the woods. Armed with ancient rituals and the unwavering courage of a united community, they faced a grotesque and otherworldly creature, the embodiment of their ancestors' malevolent pact. The ultimate battle between good and evil, light and darkness, would determine the fate of the town and its children. In a harrowing climax, the townsfolk managed to sever the malevolent entity's connection to Blackfern, and it dissipated into a swelling abyss. The curse was broken, and the missing children were miraculously returned, albeit forever changed by their haunting ordeal. Eldridge Blackfern, free from the malevolent being's influence, chose to atone for his past sins. He used his exceptional talents to craft dolls imbued with the love and innocence of the children he had once endangered, bringing a sense of healing and closure to the town. Willowbrook would never forget the horrors that had transpired within its dark history, but the dolls that now graced its home served as a reminder of the resilience and unity of its people in the face of unimaginable evil. The Dollmaker's Curse was a story that would live on, whispered in hushed tones by generations to come, a cautionary tale of the price one might pay for secrets buried deep in the past. It stood as a testament to the strength of community and the enduring hope that even in the darkest of times, the light of human spirit could prevail against the most sinister of curses. Years passed in Willowbrook, and the memory of the malevolent entity and Eldridge Blackthorn began to fade into the annals of history. The town slowly healed from its collective trauma, and life returned to a semblance of normalcy. Families cherished the dolls made by the once infamous toymaker as symbols of unity and resilience. 
However, Leary Wood still held their secrets, and the descendants of the original townsfolk knew that vigilance was the key to maintaining the hard-won peace. They had learned that evil could lurk in the most unexpected places, and they remained ever watchful, ensuring that the past would not be repeated. Eldridge Blackthorn, once a puppet of malevolence, had become a guardian of the town's safety. He lived on the outskirts of Willowbrook, dedicated to protecting the community he had once endangered. The dolls he crafted now served as guardians, watching over the town as symbols of both the curses, darkness, and the resilience of the people who had broken free from it. As the years passed, the children who had gone through the horrors of the malevolent entity's influence grew up with a unique perspective on life. They carried the knowledge of the past and a profound appreciation for the fragility of innocence. They became artists, writers, and storytellers, weaving their experiences into tales that would warn future generations against the dangers of secrets and packs with darkness. Willowbrook became a town of both reverence and caution, and its inhabitants never took their safety for granted. The haunting whispers of the wood served as a constant reminder that the past could reawaken at any moment, and so they remained vigilant, knowing that their unity and courage were their strongest weapons against the shadows of the past. The dollmaker's curse was no longer a threat, but it had become a legend, a dark fairy tale told to new generations. It warned of the sinister consequences of keeping secrets and the strength that could be found in facing the most formidable of nightmares. The people of Willowbrook understood that their ancestors' pact had been a grave mistake, but it was a mistake they had learned from and would never make again. In the end, Willowbrook was a town that had triumphed over its own history, proving that even the most sinister of curses could be broken when a community stood united. The dolls crafted by Eldridge Blackthorn, infused with love and redemption, remained a testament to the town's enduring spirit and the resilience of the human heart, even in the face of the most harrowing of nightmares. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.